In this video, you will learn how to program the 4-wheel robot RoboCreator 2 SumoBot. In part 1, you will learn how to control the 4 wheels of the robot so that it can move forward, backward, turn left, spin left, turn right, and spin right. In part 2, you will learn how to program its GP2Y0A41 distance sensor so that the robot can detect obstructions or incoming objects. In part 3, you will learn how to program its ZX-03 IR sensor. One on the left and one on the right. So that the robot can detect lines or edges or it can detect white color from black color. When running the four wheels, we will create our own functions. But before we start coding, make sure that your robot is detected by your computer. Okay, to begin, open up your device manager. So if you examine the list, there's no COM or port icon here. But when I connect the robot, the device manager updates and notice that we now have this icon for ports. And if I try to expand this, you'll see that our connection is a USB serial port at COM4. Now open up your Arduino. So when you first open up your Arduino, you'll have this default void setup function and the void loop function. Later, we will choose ATX2 as the Arduino board when we upload this program. So let me put a space here at the top. So I'm going to include some declarations here and some initializations of variables. And below the void and setup function, I'm going to write the implementation or the definition of the functions that we will be creating. I'm going to save this code. Uh, let me just name it as test underscore wheels. So for the students, you just have to focus your attention on the code that I'm going to write inside the setup function and the loop function. And when it comes to the code that I'm going to write in the declarations part and the implementations part, you could just simply cut and paste it. When I'm trying to explain the code at the declarations part and implementations part, you could just skip that part of the video and you could just proceed at the part of the video where I'm explaining the code inside the setup function and the loop function. So first, just a little background. If this is the top view of your robot, then we could just name this left front wheel as the motor 1 and the left back wheel as the motor 2 and the right front wheel as the motor 3 and the right back wheel as the motor 4. So if we want the robot to move forward, I could turn on all the motors in such a way the robot will move forward so to do that let me define first the motor digital pin one now in the board this motor one digital pin is actually at digital pin five how do i know that uh, it's based on trial and error so again motor one is connected to digital pin five if this digital pin 5 outputs a high voltage, then the rotation of the wheel is backward. Well, it actually depends on how you connect the driving wheel. For example, if you try to supply motor 1 digital pin with high voltage, the wheel might rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And of course, if you try to supply it with low voltage, then the wheel will rotate in the reverse direction. Next, let's define motor 1 analog pin. And based on trial and error, the motor 1 analog pin is connected to the board's analog pin 6. So let me also define the variables for the other motors. So based on trial and error, motor 2 is connected to digital pin 4. Also, motor 2 is connected to analog pin 7. Motor 3 is connected to digital pin 16. And motor 3 is also connected to analog pin 19. Now this analog connection has something to do with the speed of the motor. The digital pin controls whether the wheels rotate clockwise or counterclockwise while the analog pin 
dictates how fast the wheel is rotating so if you try to supply this with zero voltage then apparently the wheel will not turn in any direction so when it comes to motor 4 it turns out that motor 4 is connected to digital pin 17 and also motor 4 is connected to analog pin 20 let's now create the function to control wheel 1 or motor 1 so let me create a function here void and let's name this function wheel1. Let's supply it with integer speed. So for our purposes, let's just confine the value of speed from 0 to 100. 0, it's not spinning and 100 means it's spinning at its maximum rotational speed. Let's create a variable that can take decimal values and let's name it as v. Let's initialize it to 0. So the purpose of this variable is to convert our speed that has a range from 0 to 100 into something that is readable by the analog pin. The scale of the analog pin is actually from 0 to 255 units. So to convert this 0 to 100 to 0 to 255 first let's convert speed into float or uh, into decimal and then we will multiply it with 255 and then divide it into 100 so we can now use this variable to our analog pin so when we supply a positive speed let's assume that the wheel should rotate in such a way the entire robot will move forward so to do that let's declare motor one digital pin as output and we supply it with based on the configuration of my robot i should supply it with a low voltage so that it will rotate in such a way the robot will move forward next let's now indicate the speed of the wheel declare motor one analog pin as output so that we could supply the motor with a specific voltage let's write the supplied value on motor one analog pin but here we convert it back to integer otherwise if speed is less than zero then we will just reverse these values here i'm going to write this as high since we already reversed the direction no need to write a negative voltage for this analog right hence we need to put a negative sign here so for wheel 2 we also do the same you have to test this function and uh, just by simply putting wheel 1 and see if it rotates in such a way if you try to supply it with a positive speed then the robot will move forward and if you try to supply it with a negative speed the wheel should rotate in such a way the robot will move backward so you have to test it and sometimes some wheels are manufactured in reverse order so you just have to fix it here in this part of the code you just have to reverse low here into high and this one to low and so on so assuming that all wheels behave this way so i could just cut and paste this but then again you have to test it okay this is for wheel 2 and this is for wheel 3 and finally for motor 4 or wheel 4 i'll just edit this to wheel 4 and this motor 1 digital pin into motor 4 digital pin and this one to motor 4 analog pin there must be a way to stop all wheels simultaneously so let's just create a function for that let's just name it as stop underscore wheels and it doesn't need any argument though you can just apply the speed with zero but it's already understood that when you call this function you want all wheels to stop let me just supply the analog pins with a zero speed or zero voltage I'll do the same for other analog pins of the other wheels and then I'm going to give them a value of 0. Now let's create the function for forward. We want it to have an argument of speed. So going back to our figure, if we want the entire robot to move forward, we should uh, rotate wheel 1 in such a way the robot will move forward and the same for 
wheel 2 and wheel 3 and wheel 4 and this must happen simultaneously we just need to supply all wheels with a positive speed so let me just copy the declarations of these implementations and put it here inside the declarations So in order for you to use a function inside the setup and loop, it must be declared first. That's why I've written the declaration above the setup function and the loop function. Now, if your um, robot has an OK button, in our case, the Suma bot has a specific function to execute the program that we will upload to it. And in our case, this is just a simple OK function. Now, if you want to test our forward function, you could just simply write forward and let's just say a speed of 30. If you click OK, then your robot will automatically move forward. That's why sometimes in testing, I'll put a delay of 3 seconds. So delay, the units of delay is in milliseconds. So I'm going to indicate 3000 milliseconds after clicking okay there will be a delay of three seconds before the robot finally moves forward so with this simple line of code your robot will begin to move forward after three seconds and it will move forward indefinitely maybe after one second we could call this one stop wheels so click upload and once you click the okay button You'll wait for three seconds and then it will move forward and then stop. Next, let's implement the backward function. We supply it with a positive speed. Though in our code, we will just attach a negative sign here. So let me copy this for the implementation part. If you want the entire robot to move backward, all four wheels should simultaneously rotate in such a way the entire robot will move backward. When we control the robot, we assume that we always have a positive speed. So here, we will just copy this code for forward, but we will convert the speed into a negative value. So I'll create a new variable here, an integer variable. Let's just name this as neg underscore speed, meaning to say negative of speed. Let's simply multiply speed with negative 1. and then plug it to our build function. Again, you can test this. Let's go back to our loop function. Just replace this forward function with backward. What if we want our robot to turn left? So basically to do that, we need wheel three and wheel four to move forward while wheel one and wheel four are stopped. So to implement turn left, let's name this function as turn left let's also supply it with the variable speed wheel 1 and wheel 2 should be stationary wheel 3 and wheel 4 should move forward so going back here you can just test it turn left for example with a speed of 40. now going back to our robot what if we want our robot to turn left by speeding essentially we have to program the robot in such a way wheel 1 and wheel 2 will rotate backwards and wheel 3 and wheel 4 will rotate forward so let's name this movement or motion as spin underscore left and it has an argument of speed so to implement this and just copy this one I need to convert this speed into a negative value so that wheel 1 and wheel 2 will rotate backwards. Let me create a new variable here, uh, integer and the negative of speed. This is equal to the speed times negative 1. So I'm going to supply this to wheel 1 and wheel 2. And wheel 3 and wheel 4 should move regularly, meaning to say it should move forward. In order for the robot to do a 
spin left motion so again we can test this spin left and then upload this code and then run now how about turn right so we need to supply it with a variable of speed so going back to our robot in order for the robot to turn right wheel 1 and wheel 2 should move forward while wheel 3 and wheel 4 are stationary i'll just copy this turn left and then let me edit this to turn right supply wheel 1 and wheel 2 with non-zero speed and wheel 3 and wheel 4 should remain stationary hence i need to supply this with zero values to test this to go back to our function and then let's type turn sorry underscore right next we should have a spin version for right so we name this as spin right apparently it also has an argument of speed so going back to our robot in order for the robot to spin to the right wheel 1 and wheel 2 should rotate forward and wheel 3 and wheel 4 should rotate backwards to implement this let me just copy this function for the robot to have a spin right motion wheel 1 and wheel 2 should rotate forward so this must be positive speed and the argument of wheel 3 and wheel 4 must have a negative value and that's it if you want to test it let's go back to our loop function change this to spin right so if you want to test the different functions you can just lower this delay into one second and then cut and paste this so you could perform different combination just to test all the functions so for example at first you want it to move forward at a speed of 10 units so expect that the robot will move slowly and you want it to move backwards with a very large speed so let's just say 80 and you also want it to spin to the right with a speed of 40 and then you want the robot to spin to the left with a speed of 60 and so on so that's it don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates thank you for watching